Okay, so I just wanted to, um, again, just um, uh, summarize what I just went through with a blackboard, what you're going to find on there. Again, you're going to find the syllabus and other documents. I showed you all that stuff, uh, the PowerPoint presentations. You're going to see all my video lectures on there. I spent a lot of time talking about the um, best way to watch those videos. Also, I showed a, a good way to uh, get the uh, most out of the uh, highly recommended review questions. Any announcements? Again, it's mostly going to be about uh, tutoring, which is good, which is good, but not so much about uh, the, the, court, um, the course material. Um, discussion boards will be find on, found on there. Um, all my online quizzes and exams. And I, like I said, I can't overemphasize this enough. The best, the only way to get in touch with me is that place I showed you on the dashboard of Blackboard the, where it says inbox and in parentheses Blackboard or BB mail. Okay. So check that at least twice a day, maybe 10 o'clock in the morning, six o'clock at night, because I will be sending you emails quite often, more likely two times in one day, if, you know, a, a three times, four times a week, especially in a, a highly accelerated course like this. I don't want to leave you uh, hanging with a lot of stuff. So I'm going to guide you. Okay. Um, so the course objectives, just read that on your own. It's pretty straightforward. You'll see them in the syllabus. Um, uh, and the course schedule. Okay, so let me um, if you turn to page 17. Um, it's all color-coded in there. Basically, um, it's it's like the course calendar, but all on one page. Uh, the course calendar has much more details about when things open and close, but if you want to look at it one page of what you're looking at for the, for the, uh, for the seven, eight weeks or so we're going to be together, that's what's going to happen. Okay. We only only have we really only have one holiday uh, that's observed, which is President's Day. It's on uh, February twentieth. Uh, I arranged it so that you will not have any tests or assignments uh, due on that date. Okay. Um, if you want, if there's something, I'm not too sure, but if there's something you want to hand in, uh, like a discussion board or something like that, yeah, you can do that. But I'm not requiring anyone uh, to have a due date, uh, something due on that day. But you can, by all means, I'll check my emails that day too. Um, but just give me a heads up about that. Okay. The lecture lab material for at least AMP1 is not going to be correlated very well. OK, for instance, like I told you before, neurology is in lecture, there's like five chapters to it. We're going to be spending mm, probably two to three weeks on just the nervous system. OK, um, whereas the muscle lab is only one week. Um, so or muscle, you're going to be spending a little bit more time. So it's going to you're you may still be doing muscles in lab while we're doing the nervous system because we've got to get a jump start with nervous system in the lecture. So because of that, unfortunately, AMP one tends to not correlate so well. It's not just me. It's it's across the whole nation. AMP two, however, does correlate a little bit better. We're doing a digestive system in lecture. We're most likely doing those digestive system in lab also. Not always, but it, it's a it's much more correlated in A and P two than it is in A and P one. Okay, um, so the lab for neurology, there's only two labs. Um, lab exercises, that is. I, I'm, I'm saying that because you're an accelerated course. It goes a little bit. Um, <clears throat> um, you'll probably do all all that neural lab in one lab, though. Okay, um, so sorry about the continuity, um, but we have to cover everything. Okay, um, lab material. Um, I'm just going to tell you these subjects are not going to be um, tested in lecture, but they will be tested in lab. Um, histology, the study of tissues, the actual pictures, the microscope slides. They will not be on my lecture exams. Now, the theory about histology, where you're gonna find certain tissues, yes. And what the functions are, yes. That's gonna be on the lecture and lab for that matter. But the pictures themselves of what you would see under a microscope, that is not gonna be in lecture. It will be tested in lab. In other words, they're gonna throw you a picture, Tell me what uh, what the function of this epi of this tissue is. Tell me what tissue this is. We're not going to be looking at pictures um, for the lecture uh, exams. So, like I said, histology theory will be tested in lecture as well as lab, but not the pictures. The names of bones are not going to be tested in lecture. 
like the humerus bone, as I mentioned to you before, the the upper uh, uh, the upper bone in the arm uh, is called the humerus. Um, and the 11 parts of it. You're going to learn all about that and all the parts uh, in lab. I'm not going to go over that as much as the names of the muscles, uh, like the pectoralis major muscle or the biceps muscle. I'm not going to talk about the names of the muscles. We're going to talk more about the physiology and the microscopic view of, of the physiology of the muscles in lecture. Okay, so the names of the bones, the names of the muscles, which is chapter uh, seven and 10, bones and muscles, those are not going to be covered in lecture. They will be covered in, in uh, lab. And I'll explain that um, when we get to those uh, sections later on in the um, in one of my wonderful uh, many emails I'm going to send you. Okay. All right, so the lecture schedule, okay, um, what we're going to have is that there is uh, three lecture exams, component lecture exams, um, and there's gonna be one final exam, okay? Um, I'm also gonna have, whoops, going too fast here. Um, I'm also going, and the lecture exams are gonna start at 12 a.m. and they're gonna close two days later um, at 5 p.m. And I'll give you all those uh, emails as we go along. There is gonna be a bonus quiz. Um, the way that I like to put bonus questions on my exams, but the way Blackboard's is set up, I can't do it online. Uh, the online exams, it doesn't, you can, but it, it becomes tricky on both my end creating the exam and how to explain it for you. So I'd rather not do it that way. I have a separate bonus quiz um, that will be towards the end of the semester. And I'll talk more about that bonus quiz, uh, which will add points to your each one of your lecture exams. Um, uh, if you want doing the uh, bonus quiz. Um, I also have lecture quizzes. Um, the lecture quizzes, there are going to be 10 of them going to each chapter, okay? Um, and it'll open uh, 8 a.m. and it'll close 8 a.m. two days later. So you only get 48 hours. You'll have 10 minutes. Uh, no, I, I made it so you have 14 minutes to take them. So once you push start, that's when the time clock uh, begins. But you have 48 hours to complete it, okay? Um, there's many video recorded uh, lectures as I showed you, they're from my live lectures. Utilize them as, as your leisure, take notes and study for them. You're gonna get better and better with your note taking as you take do those uh, review questions. Uh, and you can revisit these videos whenever you want to help reinforce the material, okay? All right, so the lecture and the lab components, uh, the lecture is worth 75% of your total grade, lab is worth 25%. There is a stipulation that you must achieve 60% in both those, uh, those portions for you to pass the course. So what does that mean? Okay, what it means is that if in lab you have, and I'm just gonna give you extremes. In lab you have like, um, you have 100%, okay? And in lecture, your lecture grade is 50%, okay? Now, your grade is going to be like a 70% or so. That sounds like it's passing. But because your lecture grade is less than 50%, I mean, less than 60%, you still fail the course, okay? So I don't know if I did the calculations right, but it's, it's that kind of... Um, uh, concept is that if you have a hundred in something or you have a 80 in something and you got a 50 in something else or 55 in something else, if your grade is still combined with the 75, 25, that's still an impassing range, like 72%, you still fail because one of those portions is still less than 50, uh, less than 60%. Okay. So keep that in mind. All right. There's the equivalence that you, um, again, that's gonna be the first 11 pages of the uh, of the syllabus, but that's pretty straightforward, okay? Um, now I have a syllabus quiz, we're on page 18 now. So the syllabus quiz, it's 10 multiple choice questions um, for at, once you watch my di your this video uh, discussion on the, uh, the syllabus and you go through the syllabus, then I want to make sure you got the highlights of it by ask, asking um, uh, 10 questions, 
Uh, there are multiple choice questions. You have an unlimited time to do that. However, it is going to be worth 1% um, of your grade. So it's mandatory that you do it. Otherwise, you don't do it, you get it, you lose that. So the highest grade that you could possibly get is a 99. That's what I'm saying, is 1% 1, 1 of your grade. Um, it's open once Blackboard opens, which is day one, and it will close um, on day two. All right. Uh, usually I give you a few more days if it was a full uh, a full course, but this is only this is only seven weeks. So I got to speed it up a little bit. So you have until um, day number two by eight o'clock. OK, January 19th, uh, eight o'clock. It must be done. Now, I'm giving you unlimited time so you could open it, come back to it, that kind of thing. There's no time limit. However, there is a due time that it is. OK, so make sure you do that. The lecture exams. OK, there's three component exams. There are going to be about 75 to 80 questions each, 100 points each. So you'll get a percentage. You'll get 75 minutes for each one. It opens on a certain day and closes two days later. So it's really open for three days, but not three full days. I think it's like 65 hours that it's open. Um, no lecture exam can be dropped. There's no makeups. OK. There is one comprehensive exam that's done at the end, of course. Um, it is the, a departmental exam. Uh, in other words, the three component exams are ones that I made up, but the departmental exam is what the department made, makes up. I'm not so concerned about that, and you shouldn't be either. I think, uh, I feel as though I'm the coach and you're my athlete, and I could train you for any kind of marathon. It doesn't matter if I train you through my exams, I'm training you through every exam. And you should be able to, because I go through all the objectives and that's what the department does is that it goes through the objectives and make sure that um, you could answer questions from the objectives. So I'm doing all that. So I'm not so concerned and you shouldn't be either. The only thing you should be concerned obviously is because it's a comprehensive exam, you gotta go back uh, and study those things, but you could take on that exam, okay? Um, and of course that can't be dropped or there's no makeups and you'll have this usual, um, 65 hours or so to take that exam. Okay. Uh, these four exams are going to be proctored by Proctor U. So that's what you need to do. These are the only ones that'll be done through Proctor U. So these four exams, like I said, uh, it's about $6 for each one, six to $8. So you're looking at 24 to $32 is what the price should have been. And he should have done it when he registered. That's my understanding. Okay. But it is the responsibility of the student. Um, lecture quizzes. Um, there's going to be 10 lecture quizzes. Uh, you'll have 10 questions for each one. Uh, that's wrong. It's not 10 minutes. You will have 14 minutes for each, que for each quiz. Okay. I do drop the lowest uh, graded lecture quiz. This encourages you to say, where should I be at my at this point in the, the course? If you take the lecture quiz, you should be done with that chapter. Okay, so that's how you gauge yourself with that. Watch my video web links, um, and the quizzes are based off those video lectures and my PowerPoints. Uh, you'll have 48 hours to do it, um, and that's it. You know, once that time happens, you if you miss it, you miss it. That'll be the one that you drop, okay? Um, again, like I said, there's no makeups for these lecture quizzes. Um, now, with the lecture quizzes, I also want to tell you, and this, is, again, is on page 19 now on your, your syllabus, you can have a three by five index card over here. Anything can be written or drawn on them front and back. Uh, I do this when I'm live students too. So this is kind of, um, uh, this slide is also helping them. I kind of use the same one. Uh, Xerox or scan items can't be permitted on it. No extra pages. Um, so many students try to get really creative with this. Uh, it's just one three by five card. It really just encourages you to read and watch my PowerPoints and web links. And it and also uh, helps you collect your thoughts on certain highlights uh, that maybe, you know, it's, you're, it's too heavy for you to, to, to manage at this point, but I will be ready for the lecture exam, that kind of thing. You can only use one card, only use for the lecture quizzes. Uh, if I see that you're using these for any other uh, exam, then that'll be considered cheating and it'll be um, uh, dealt with appropriately. I know this is difficult to monitor online, just be mindful that you're not gonna have these cards available for you for the lecture exam. So just kind of train yourself, okay? 
Um, now let's talk about this bonus quiz. Okay. Since I can't put these uh, any bonuses on lecture exams on Blackboard, I have 60 questions that I'll give you 55 minutes for. You'll have a five day time frame to take it, but only one sitting. Um, it occurs just before the final lecture exam, and it's going to be comprehensive, just like the final exam. So treat this bonus quiz as like a mock uh, final exam. Okay. Claiming all 60 points will increase each of your three lecture exams by two percentage points. So if you only get um, half of the half the bonus exam correct, um, so you get 30 points, that means you'll get one percentage point added to each of the exams. OK, uh, it can't hurt your grade in any way. It can only help it. Uh, and it's a good opportunity to see your strengths and weaknesses before the final exam. Now, with this one, I will allow you to take it two times um, and I'll take the best grade of the two that will be recorded. OK, now this these um, this bonus quiz is going to be coming. It's going to be taking uh, uh, questions from a pool bank that I created that had like, I don't know, 250, 300 questions. So chances are, I don't want to say chances, you aren't going to get the same questions. You may get a few questions that are going to be the same, but chances are you're going to get different questions. So um, that gives you some opportunity to see, um, you know, can you answer like other questions that are pertaining to the same concepts? Um, so anyway, um, I take the best of the two. All right. Um, and the bonus quiz can't be made up. Um, no exceptions. OK, so let's talk about um, exam protocol. OK, um, using measuring or measure learn uh, measure learning or proctor you. OK, again, register for this today. You can only use Firefox or Google Chrome. You cannot use your smartphones or tablets. Create an account. Um, the instructions, as I explained to you, are in the syllabus folder of Blackboard. Okay. And you're going to need to download and install this thing called a Proctor U extension to your browser, whether you use Firefox or Google Chrome. You could use both, it doesn't matter. Um, but it must be installed on any computer that you intend to use for an exam. So if you put it on one, one computer and then you want to use your mother's computer for lecture exam three, you got to put it on her computer also. So you got to go through the process of uh, registering on that computer also. Okay. Um, again, it's a 24 seven day, um, 24 hour, seven day proctoring service that CCM has uh, used. Um, the day and time that you choose, when you choose it, make sure you take care of all your bathroom uh, issues uh, before you take the exam because you're not going to be able to get up and do that. Uh, be in an area that's less distractive. Um, be in a well-lit area so that I could see your face, okay? Um, clear your walls and desks area of any notes, diagrams, etc. No other digital devices, smartphone, tablets. Yes, even smart um, uh, watches are going to be considered uh, a form of cheating too, okay? Uh, dress appropriately, okay? If you are going to go to the the, the school, make sure you have your shirt on. I've had a male student not wear a shirt. That doesn't look very good, okay? Um, let alone, I've even had a, believe it or not, I could tell you all these stories, but I've even had a female student wearing a negligee on her bed talking. With, I said, whoa, I had to shut down her, her Zoom session um, uh, when I had to do, let's say, uh, remote classes that were live, not live, but I had to do the synchronous online courses. Uh, you just dress as though you're coming on campus um, means that you wear a shirt, um, you know, and pants and so forth. OK, um, webcam has to be positioned at the top of your screen. Make sure you have your photo ID, scrap paper. If you're allowed a simple calculator, if you're allowed, you'll know uh I'll, I'll alert you if you're allowed to have these. I think it's only one exam you're allowed to have this is the first exam, um, but you'll you'll hear about it in my emails. And you'll be able to find the exam in the assessments folder that I showed you earlier in Blackboard. And that's where you would open it up, okay? Now, the once you open the exam, now ProctorU is going to give you uh, instructions. It's going to tell you to face the screen, to take a photo. Dis it'll then tell you to display your photo ID. Um, and then when you start the exam, before you get to question one, 
it's then going to ask you to pan your webcam 360 degrees, tilt your webcam so that I see your desktop, all right, and then reposition your webcam back to the screen so that's facing you, okay? You can then begin the exam. Once the, begin, once the exam begins, the clock will start ticking and there is no pausing, okay? Make sure I see your full face. I don't wanna just see your forehead. I have to see where your eyes look. That is very, very important, okay? So you have to keep your eyes on the screen. Otherwise, I don't know if you're looking at something else that you just pulled out, okay? Uh, you, will not to be a, you will not be able to visit other sites. And again, you can't get up from your seat. So make sure you get do all your bathroom um, responsibilities before, okay, you take the exam. Uh, don't answer the phone call. Just turn it off. Maybe put a do not disturb sign on your, on your door for an hour. It'd be fine, okay, um, or an hour of 75 minutes. Uh, and then when you're done, you just submit your exam when you're completed, okay? So integrity issues. Okay, um, this is for all exams, lecture quizzes, bonus quiz, and so forth. There's no reviewing of the exam uh, or quiz once you submit it, okay? You're not able to go back to the quiz or ex exam to review what you received right or wrong. These exams are being used for other courses um, and also, if you take the course over again, if you take that, I don't know if people are taking screenshots of the questions and so forth. Um, I got to make sure that these that you are not making copies of this. So sorry about that for, in advance. Now, I have to say one other thing um, that you may be able, you may um, request to look at your exam. And I have this on page 20 midway in there where it says special note on reviewing quizzes and exams if you want to know what you got right or wrong we could do one or two different things one we could have a zoom session together and i could go over the exam or quiz with you uh during the zoom session but you can't take notes you can't take any pictures you could only see what you got right or wrong you could ask me questions but i can't have you take any notes the other thing that we can do is that instead of doing a Zoom meeting, that I could look over your quiz or exam and I could, based on what you got wrong, I could tell you uh, concepts that you need to review for the final exam, knowing that you got these things wrong. So I could list certain things that you got wrong. Um, so either or, I could do that. It's all stated on page 20 that I could do either or, okay? Um, but I can't have you just look at it without being proctored, okay? Um, there's a whole list of do's and don'ts. Uh, just read them on your, by, by, um, by yourself. Uh, it's on page uh, 21 to 22. Uh, some of them are common sense. Some, some of them are not. Just read them on your own um, before you do the exam. And I will remind everybody to do that also, uh, you know, in an email. All right, I do have a practice uh, online quiz. We're on page 22 now. It's not graded. Points will not affect your grade. It won't help or hinder it. Uh, it's 12 questions pertaining to basic A&P material that you may have already learned. Um, try and do this on day one or two of the, the semester and get acquainted on how to navigate my online exams and how they're being formulated. OK, take as many times as you want throughout the semester. It doesn't matter. OK, it's just to get you acquainted to my test style and a test format that you'll be doing for Blackboard. OK, um, I do allow you to review your questions on this quiz only, uh, but it's not permitted, as I mentioned to you before, for any quiz or any exam um, before. 